Hello friends, welcome to French's video. I'm France Martin, independent administrator with Stamping Up. And today I'm going to give you or share with you some tip of our uh, new paper cutter. So, it uh, got a nice flat surface. It uh, got the arm that open. And if you notice, at the arm you get a lip here. So when you put your paper, it stay flat there. So all the way along, it's going to be stay straight. And you can keep this down if you want. When you slide it, I don't know if you can see, you don't want to lift this up and slide it. See, it don't go flat there. So when you go, you want to keep it flat to this part here. To push it down and then it's going to snap. So when you open it up, a lot of time we're going to keep it this way and it seems we push it up. See, it don't latch then. So you want to keep it flat and you're going to feel it engage. Now, for the arm itself, I'm going to go this way, I think you're going to see better. This here, I think you can hear it, it snap. And then the beauty about snapping, it will keep your paper in place. I've been using mine for about a month, so I'm sure I'm going to keep on discovering things as I go, but today it's the basic. You got the dark blade, it is the cutting blade, and the light blade, it's the scoring blade. Now, if you go at about the 12 inch, just before the 12 inch, you're going to see it's a groove there. If you bring this here, when you hit the groove, you lift up. Let me pull it this way here. You're going to lift. <laughs> I'm going to have to sit down here so I can do it like. It, it's going to pull very easy. So let me pull this way. Up and then boom. See? It come very easy. See? I'm just used to have it face me. So I lift up and boom. So for me, the groove needs to be facing me. So then I can do it that easy. See, when I hit that groove, I lift up and keep on lifting. And it's the same for your cutting blade. When you see the groove there, you see the little point. The minute it hit there, lift up and up. When you want to put it down, you put it in the groove, push it down, and it's down. So up and down. See? It comes very easy. You just have to look at the groove there. And when you see that little notch in the groove, you pull up and you keep on pulling up. It's the same with the cutting. Up and up. So if you put that facing you like I got it, I'm over here. So that helped me because I can see right there. So that's how you switch your blade. Now, when you lift this up, you're going to see the tracking is very fine. If paper gets stuck in there or so on, just like the old one, keep your toothbrush handy. After you brush your teeth, you can come and clean it. Now, keep a toothbrush in your craft room that you can, um, I even get paint on mine, see? Um, that you can uh, clean it. Sometimes you get, especially if you cut glitter. So a toothbrush, it's handy with that. The groove, it's very tiny. Now, you're going to see you get all those lines in there, but it's all erased up there. That's going to help to cut small piece of paper. You're going to see, hmm, you're, it looked like all scratch up. Well, I was waiting for my video. It is a plastic cover on it. So you can keep it on or you can peel that off, whatever you want. It won't change. I'm trying to, uh, I had start peeling at one end and I said I need to wait for the video. You're going to see you get that, here we go. I'm going to remove mine because mine has been kind of abused already. But you don't have to take yours if you see oh that's going to protect, whatever. You can go ahead and peel that up and you get a soft, very, um, smooth surface on it. So if you think, oh my gosh, it's already scratched up. It's not scratched up. It's that uh, plastic when they uh, mail that. 
So now it's all removed except right here I get something in the corner there. Here we go. Because I don't want that there. That's going to interfere with my paper. So you get the plastic cover on, at both ends. You get it over here. You get it on the arm also that you can remove that. So I'm going to keep it just like that for now. Like I said, that's not a must. You can do with or without. Now, when you want to cut, I'm going to cut at the five and a half. So I, five and a half, you're going to see your line right there. I'm going to cut that right at the five and a half. I lock it. So you see, it don't matter what you do. Your paper's still in place. Oops. That's, usually it stay right in. Et voila. So you get a very clean cut. Talking about the clean cut, I forgot to show you one thing. I want to show the blade, see how deep the blade is. I think you can see how deep that blade is. Here we go. So the blade is very deep on this cutter. And for the score, it's not just a point. It's a roller, so it rolls. So it's a disc. For the scoring so that's another kind of a fun thing so now I'm gonna lift this and I'm gonna put that at four and a quarter so your measurement it's gonna be that's gonna be the most tricky I think to learn your measurement because you get the centimeters on it in the inch now when you score I gonna roll that and you get a very nice score. And you can press harder if you on your score if you want. You don't have to press that hard. See, very nice. Just barely bumpy there. So it's a very clean fold. Uh, I mean, a clean score. Also, let me cut. So you see, if you're going to try to pull from the center, Mine been used a lot. You, it's going to bow. You're going to say don't open. At the beginning, for sure, you want to lift from the side. It's going to be a little learning curve maybe to learn that, but you, you're going to get used to it. I'm going to put it at one inch so you get the measurement all the way to one and a half here. So that's kind of sweet. I'm going to put that at one inch. And when you press on your cutting, you don't want to press hard because the blade is so deep. So really, you just want to guide it. That's it. Guide that. I'm going to remove this. And in the past, what I've been used, I used to put a post-it note when I put, cut small paper. Now, in this case, we don't have to. I'm going to go all the way to a quarter inch. So I got three quarter on one side and a quarter. See it butt and right there. So it stays straight. Push this down. And then I'm going to glide this and open this up. Oh, where's it? Voila. See how straight it is? It is wicked cool. Very, very clean cut. So I can even take um, the three quarter there and we can put that right there in the center and close it. Make sure it snap. And I put a little bit of pressure here, yes. And oops. Well, let's put more pressure. When it's tiny piece, lift it up, and voila. Your paper won't slide. See how straight it is. This is very, very straight. It's very, very cool. So that's for the small piece. Now at this end, if you get some 12 by 12 paper, if you bud in right at the edge here, it's exactly six inch. So close, close. This is exactly six inch right there. So if you want anything over six inch, you will not be, let's say I would want to put that at seven inch, you cannot go or even six and a quarter. The max it's six without opening your arm. If you want to go more than six, push up on your arm here, pull it up, and then you can cut straight. One thing that I like about that, like I said, it keeps this part straight. Let me get another piece of paper here. 
and you're going to see that when I put this right there, it stays straight all along there. Put that down. Voila. Always a straight. So it's easy, very friendly to get straight line. If the metric gets you confused a little bit, my best advice is maybe to take a Sharpie. And I thought I had a Sharpie here. Well, let's see, this is a Sharpie. You could mark right here at your four and a quarter, so you know that's the popular mark, and the five and a half. So you get a little bit of guidelines, whatever you prefer. I, this don't bother me. I, I, I pretend that it's not there. So I just look at these lines. I don't go nothing there. Another thing that you get, you get the measurement also at this end, but it stops at four and a half. Well, no, uh, four and three quarter because you get the arm after that. So some people call, whoops, call this the top, the bottom, whatever. Me, I put it this way. My stamping up logo stay at the bottom face me and I go with this. Oh, this was not a Sharpie, so here we go. So that is about my tip. Again, lift up from each end. May, oh, see, uh, if you try in the center, it's gonna bow, you're gonna think I, it's gonna break and because it's really latched there. So if you go at each end, maybe I should go this way. That this way it make it very easy and um, that's about it so remember your inch or inside inch inside centimeter outside so the inch are here also you got it in the middle so it's easy to see if you're straight but with the little edge there it's very friendly to be straight let's say I want to go at four and a quarter see right here and I get my four and a quarter right there whoops so it's easy to line that up so you know you're straight you get your line all the way sorry I forgot to show one important thing so I decided to chop in this video in how simple it is to do an open frame so if you look at the we're going to do one inch frame here if you look at the blade, you get the arrow right here. So here, it's where the blade is, and then you get the line there also. So let's say you want to do a one inch frame. You're going to put that at one inch. Going to bring this right there. You see it's right at the one, right there. And this was five and a half. So we're going to go at four and a half and stop there. And you get a very clean cut. We're going to turn this around and we're going to put that at one inch. Now that's four and a quarter, so we're going to go at three and a quarter right there. Go to the one, bring that right at the one there, right there. Lift it up again, turn it around, put it at one, and it's still at one. You see the line there, and you see too, you get your arrow or the line right there you see where it is in the paper we're going to go at four and a half uh, yeah four and a half that's our one inch lift this up turn it around go at the one inch mark at the top there and then here we're going to bring this at one and we're going to go at three and a quarter because that was the length so we did one all around and I'm watching the line to go at my number. Here we go. Lift this up. Et voila. So we got a very nice uh, frame. Uh, I see I went over a little bit there, but you can put a little flower there. What I'm saying, it, the cut, it's super clean. Very clean to do cut in the center. Let's say if you want to do those um, pull-out cards, you know you have to do a slit in the paper. Again, you put that here. You go there, lift this up. You move it just a little bit. And again there, lift this up. 
you get your tiny I was sideways there but you can see how it is completely a clean cut so again hope this helped you this is going to finish the video now thank you so that is it for my tip of the paper trimmer uh, like I said this is brand new on the market it's available to purchase at now and um, that's about it if you get any question please contact me you will have the link below to purchase the paper cutter and also to visit my blog for um, easy shopping and also I get many many ideas there for paper crafting thank you so much and have a lovely day bye bye for now